They're very close to level 3. So level 3 is a huge power spike for them. I'm talking about getting action done on that top lane in terms of finding kills. Surely that's going to be the point as well. Whoa, ooh, moving in on Mushi, trying for it. The Gus comes out, buys him some time. Soul Rip is a good heal as well. Not quite enough as Liquid. They'll take down one. See if Fnatic can find anything else in return. DJ looking to chase down Kuroki, but Matuma Man, he wants to get himself another. Hitting it to DJ. Double kill for Matuma Man. And Liquid, they may not even be done yet. Free for free. Still has a decay available. They're going to look to chase him. They're going to be able to hold him in position. And Liquid, surrounding the Undying, get themselves a third. The aggressive try lane working out absolutely perfectly. And that's exactly what they needed to be seeing happening in this first four minutes, cleaning out the safe lane of Fnatic. They just have so many nukes. Like, you have Purifying Flames, you have Storm Hammer, you have Chilling Touch on Curl, Cold Feet. To form out Butter, joining the fray, looking for 3-4-3. Three, and he'll actually going to buy him a bit of time as the nuke wasn't enough to finish it, but the right clicks and Kuroki there getting the cold feet down on to Undyne will do so. Might need to, uh, might need to do some heavy lifting here, so his blink dagger timing is going to be crucial. 3-4-3 three, three, actually coming down very aggressively, hits the decay, but immediately the reaction for Liquid bringing free for free down. The purifying flames nuking him out of the map. DJ shackles onto Jags, but he fails. Lane mid ones come down. They want to try and find a kill. They know that Mind Control, one of the heroes, has been left entirely on his own. But with the Vanguard, he's incredibly tanky. They're going to have to blow pretty much everything to try and get a kill. And as we can see, they'll do exactly that epicenter, but he goes for the TP out, won't make it. It's a good attempt, but <laughs> Fnatic, they get themselves the kill, but they really do have to blow absolutely everything. Sonic Wave and Epicentic to get the kill, and at the same time, Liquid realized there's a chance to move in onto 3-4-3. He's got Ohio, comes in, Burrow strikes with Tumba Bam, and Liquid, they'll be happy to continue to just fight through this one. Looking at Mushi, Jarex and Kroki chasing him down. Jarex facing the team himself, keeping himself okay for the time being. Mushi turns around, will finally finish him off, but Matumba Man finishes off DJ. Kuroki TPs away. So it is a trade up at the top, but the fact that Matumba Man just continues to... Already managed to get this tier one very low on the top lane, so they'd love to just finish it off now with this push as Matumba Man, Jarex and Kuroki come through. Ice Blast at the ready, and they'll look towards Ohio, immediately dropping it all out on him. He'll actually come forward with the Burrow Strike, the Blast. Nuke damage will miss, but the Passover's still there, so he ticks out, goes down. Mid one reacting to this, tries for Kuroki. Kuroki, he's not going to make it. So a good reaction from Fnatic will shut down two of the heroes of Liquid. Matuma Man, though, of course, himself. Kuroki as well. I mean, Stormhammer into Ice Blast, as we've seen, can do wonders against the Sanking at this stage. But as you said, that hurdle's now been climbed. He's got the blink at the same time. Bottom lane, mind control, with a perfect blink reveal to get himself a free kill. Looking to show his own blink off here. Fnatic. Radiance middle tower. With the smoke, but Liquid are actually going to get the wraparound from behind them here. Father is going to be the one to front this. Can they bring down the Razor? Relatively tanky. Jerex is there. Does have false promise if necessary. The Tombstone will be dropped by free for free, trying to burst down Father, but there's the false promise coming out. Mind Control gets the call up to Mibborn. Ice Blast for Kroki. Takes down the Quamp. They'll pick off the Undying as well on the side. A Gust from Mushi holds back Liquid, but they'll be able to continue to chase. Saw that from Mutsuman as he comes in from Ohio with the episode of bringing Father low, but he can't quite finish him. Mind Control gets the call on to Ohio, Ohio dunked down, Fnatic losing four, finding nothing in return, and it may not be over yet, but Superman takes DJ as well, team wiping Fnatic, and this seems to be the liquid that people were expecting to see. Falling behind, it's going to be hard for, for Fnatic to sweep this round, especially if they lose another fight, I mean, they're coming in, they may get the edge from the back of this smoke, Broke he's going to spoil oh, the no. bonus drive, what the heck, Ohio! Whiffing that one, and he's going to pay with his life. The Sanking is out. And Liquid, they're ready to come in and clean up more. A Sonic Wave, it will catch Mike Control, bringing him low, but it's not going to bring him down. Jump forward from Mike Control, getting back in. Ice Blast to the face of the Queen of Pain. Three down on Fnatic. And the way that started, I mean, Ohio, we saw in games to travel on Mind Control as well, so he's able to push out lanes, get himself involved in the action when needed. Liquid feeling very confident we're coming out. Mind Control hitting a two-man call. The Ice Blast comes out. DJ's going to dig down. Ohio may just be lucky enough to get himself away. Kuroki will be taken down in response. But Mind Control comes back in again. Fada coming across to join the fight. They'll look to TP away. 3-4-3. Free free. He's boy, just about makes it. Mind Control's got his eyes set on the bigger kill. On that quap, and he's going to get it. We see the call into the Purifying Flames. Follow through from a dunk. So much nuke damage at this stage of the game. So much catch.
what's stopping them right now is oh, going to be tough. Oh, oh man. Yeah, he will catch the burst track onto Fada with the epi, but we can see with the hood. Fada, he does not give a hoot. He takes no damage whatsoever. Mind Control coming back in, brings down the Scorpion. And Fnatic, they're still trying to find this Tombstone. Wards have been dropped. Fada back it up. The Ice Bomb straight onto Bushi in 3 4 3. Mind Control kept alive by Jax's false promise. They have lost Fada, but Fnatic have lost three. And again, Liquid now with the tools at their disposal. You know, Matuma Man's got a blink, helm, armlet, treads. 18 minutes in, they're so far ahead. Sin gets the cool off. A few spins will certainly help do this. Mushi trying to back up. There's going to be a dunk there. Mushi's gone. They didn't even need the Ice Blast to connect. And at this point, Liquid team fight potential, they can't turn it just on that alone. Like, Liquid need to overextend or maybe try to go high ground too early before they're able to really get a favorable engagement. And Oh god, 3-4-3. Three, three. Yeah, he's easy dead. Yep. And the tombstone as well. More money in the bank for Liquid. Easy turn to go for Fada. And uh, Mushi, well, he was there. And this game, it might, might need him. And we'll be able to find a pick here on Takuro. I mean, uh, well, I say that, they yeah, he's got, if they don't kill that AA there, I mean, I don't know anymore, but they, they do get him. They do get him. Every single thing that they can possibly get to make their way back in. Yeah, they'll tell what they can get. And higher, maybe setting up something here, big with an epicenter, jumps in, wants a mind control, wards down as well, the shackles for DJ, but DJ immediately having to let go is Liquid. Their full force fighting back, mind control will okay. get taken down though, but Matuma Man, chokes through DJ, fighter falling over the false promise for Jax, keeping him alive. But this is looking to be a fantastic fight for Fnatic. The turnaround is there, and Fnatic, Fighting in a situation where they were pretty much 20,000 net worth behind. This is Roshan as well. What? He does not have food to travel, but he does have a TP. Mind Control is on his own. Fnatic, they could have a great chance of killing him and he jumping in with the Epicenter. Mind Control gets the call up and with the Sonic Wave, Epicenter damage is too much. And Fnatic again finding these picks, but at the same time, Mushi was caught off alone. The damage makes a hero squishier. It's a very good item for this game. Oh, my control trying to jump in onto mid one, mid one. Turns around, gets the dagger out, but Tumor Man onto Mushi. Boros Day Epi onto Fada, Fada, fully rest in the hood, doing a lot. Fate Seedings as well for Jarek, stopping the magic, oh. but the pure damage. Burst through for the Sonic Wave. They've lost the Razor. They found themselves. They got three. Fnatic. Oh, my goodness. They're going to be able to get the full team wipe. My control down as well. Three, four, three. Ripping them up with this axe, stealing the strength. Oh. Here, five man smoke coming in from Liquid. Let's see if Liquid can pull it off this time. The last few times, it's not gone great. Fnatic in a good position and hiding in the tree line. We'll see who's the first to reveal. War gets dropped down. They'll spot the movement DJ. from the Shaman. Think he get a jump on the Shaman, but Shaman bleaks back. Tombstone now, Mind Control going up through it. Oh, the side of Ohio ripping two down. Mind Control to fall. It's going to be four down on Liquid. Up as well. Oh my god, fantastic! Still feeling a little bit stressful here for Liquid. They have good high ground defense. They have heroes that can jump in, get very fast mm -hmm. kills. And that's exactly what they're going to try to do now. Mountain Control jumps in, gets it onto DJ. If they can take him out, it's going to be a good start to the fight. No chance of wars. Down for 6 but Ohio coming in with a format burn strike. BKP's now coming out. We'll see how that turns the tide for Liquid. Looking to take down the Tombstone first. Now turning towards 3 for 3 They'll find themselves a second. They've lost Kuroki. Mushi tried to pull it into Mind Control, but he himself decided he's got to run away. See on the sidelines if mid one can play around this one, turning back towards Fana Mushi as well. Thinking about coming back in, but he's got to get himself away from Matumba Man. Matumba Man with him here. <laughs> he's got blink and one. Uh, Mushi with the Shadow Blade, but they have got the vision. They'll catch out Mushi. And Liquid with that kill. We certainly feel a little bit better about that passing hit. Liquid reacting immediately, fortification. The Tumor Man jumping in with the God Strength. Mind Control does get the catch. Onto Mibor with a bow strike from Ohio in return. Ice Blast. It's going to come through. Mibor falling low, but he did manage to blink out. Ohio is going to be the focus. They'll burst out. Well, but DJ again with the War Trap on Savada. Doesn't matter this time as Liquid will find themselves the second. So Liquid able to react and take down two from Fnatic. And it Fnatic. 
They do not have uh, buyback on DJ or 343, but everyone else should. Ohio's only like 10 gold away, so one creep and he's pretty much got it. But they need to react to this a little bit faster. On the wave right into the base, Fada starting to go away at the racks. Ohio jumps with the burrow, but mind control reacted with a call onto Ohio. Here we get them, and he's down! Bursted immediately! The wards are out, but BKB is from Liquid and Bolt. They'll back up those, a buyback from Ohio comes out. Can Fnatic punish this play? But even mind control, but Jarex with a false promise, keeping the axe safe. And mid one jumping forward. Can't get the latch on the bottom of Manny's. He blinked out. Liquid on the high ground. They may even want to go back in Liquid, Fada. Eyeing it up. And they're trying to play around, looking to the side. They've actually caught Matuma Man alone. It's a big pick to find the Sven. Now coming oh, back that gust. the three-man gust. The Sonic Wave coming through. Fada pops the Shivas. A high end over the epicenter. Takes down Mike and drop Fada to full as well. The Boros strike. They're looking for Kuroki and Fnatic. They may have fallen short on the last couple of fights, but again, we're seeing the Fnatic mid-game team fight power that they were showing us earlier. It's back again. And Fada. He's going to be one to fall as well by the looks of his Ohio and Mushi. Chase down the Razor and again, Liquid managed to stabilize the game a little bit with the BKB purchases, but as we saw there... Just a very nice little smoke play there, and if anyone had TP'd back to try to defend, they would have just gotten murdered instantly, so... Liquid. Got to be careful around this ward from Fnatic, spotting them all out here. So what kind of a jump they get, Mimpon jumps in, immediate reaction for Jarrett as he blinks away, Mind Control goes back in, now Matuma Man jumping onto Mimpon 1, choking him down, the quad has got buyback immediately from Mimpon 1 on the quad, Kroki, falling low but he's still alive, Liquid just trying to get the cells the hell out of there, popping the BKBs and running, they know there's going to be a quad bouncing in, a higher, oh. Epi, Burrow Strike onto 2, the to Sonic Wave, wave Matuma Man falling low, falling down, Jax down as well, buyback from the Sven, Mind Control Liquid. doesn't have buyback. Can they still hold on to this? Fnatic, they're on to the top racks. Mid one cleans up. Mind Control. They have lost a high open. It's a two BKBs. There is a chance they can defend this, even outnumbered. It's only 10 more seconds on the God Strength, and then he'll be able to double ulti, double BKB. That could be enough. 60 seconds without on control for the defense, but Tumaman jumping in, BKB gets the similar to do DJ with the Ghost Scepter. He's looking to focus 3 for 3 but the damage oh, no. from Luffy is gone! Sonic Wave to the face! Two minutes without the Tumaman! Varda's trying to do it for the side, but Mushi DJ shackles Varda up. The false promises that BKB's come out. Liquid maybe looking for a last ditch defense. 3-4-3 falls back, but the ranks are falling. Mushi's gonna get the objectives by back from Ohio. Mid one looking for the line, and the bar is dragged from Ohio! They've done it! They've absolutely GG. done it! Fanatic 2-0 Liquid! Liquid are going home!